Yeah, that's part of the concern right now. We're hearing, we're feeling a little bit of rain right now, but to be honest, we haven't felt that much rain today. The biggest heavy band of showers we haven't seen since about four o'clock this afternoon, but we have certainly seen a whole lot of clouds. I want you to take a look at some of this video and you can see some of those clouds and the magical pink sunset that they gave us earlier tonight. Now, the people on the island tonight don't seem to be phased by the threat of the arrival of a hurricane in just a few hours. Visitors were still on the beaches and in the water until it got dark tonight and partiers are celebrating in the bars along Seawall Boulevard. We caught up with a couple of island natives tonight who came out to see the rough surf. We asked them if they're concerned. There's a hurricane coming. <laughs> I wanted to see the rough water. Yeah, we were just really curious of how severe it actually is. We tried is. walking on a jetty and lifeguards whistled at us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, the last time we checked in was uh, during our cut in at about eight o'clock tonight. And back then the wind speeds were about 22.5 uh, miles per hour. I'm gonna try our, uh, our wind gauge right now and you can see they're, I don't know, steady at about uh, 18 miles an hour, around 20 miles an hour. Uh, that's about the uh, highest that we've seen so far tonight. However, things are expected to get much windier as the night progresses. Back to you. Matt, thanks so much.